hi welcome back to my channel so every couple of months i am going to try and sit down and go through my current favorite things it's something i used to do every month and then i sort of stopped doing it a little bit and then i did one back in june and i really enjoyed it you guys really enjoyed it and i thought actually it's quite nice because it means that you can talk about different things not just clothing there is some clothes but it's nice to sit down and just be able to tell you everything that i'm loving at the moment so i thought that today we would do another faves so this is my sort of current faves for um july and august and this video is actually sponsored by a brand called Modé Body, which I'm going to tell you all about in a minute. So if you would like to see all my current faves at the moment, then stay tuned. So first of all, let me tell you a little story. So back in January, I got an email from a brand called Modé Body and... Um, they are period proof underwear. Now, I think in the UK, we're pretty prudish and there's certain things we don't like talking about and like talking about sex makes people feel a bit awkward and periods is one of them things. Even though it happens to the majority of us in our lives, it still seems to be something that people just don't want to talk about and I must admit, I sort of fell into that category and when this brand approached me, I was a little bit, oh, I don't know, I don't know how my subscribers will feel about it, I don't know how I feel about it, I don't know how much I want to sit and talk about periods, but that was back in January. So then, back in June or July, um, I'm a massive fan of Helen Anderson, huge fan, um, and I watch like all the videos she puts out there, and she did a sponsorship with Modi Body, and I was like, hmm, they messaged me, let's have a little bit, little more of a look and find out about them. So that's what I did. So Modi Body is period proof underwear but they also do underwear for sweating for wee for pregnancy and they do like gym leggings swimwear maternity bras and i was sort of like period proof underwear not not totally sure about it but let's let's find out more about it so let hear me out let me tell you about it Okay, so if you go on the Modi Body website and you go to the like about me to find out more about the brand, it basically says that they've got four game-changing linings. So one for modern periods, heavy discharge and bladder leaks, one for getting hot and gloriously sweaty and never smelly, one for dips in the pool and laying in the sand, and one for feeding hungry bubs and leaky boobs. So they do period and pee-friendly pants which are what i've got so they're made super slim only three millimeters thick it's hard to believe a modifier technology can hold up to 20 mil or four tampons worth so it's 2.5 to 20 milliliters depending on the flow that you choose and the bottom layer is extra waterproof protection so you're super secure and sassy as always <laughs> so I got a pair of the Sensual High Waist Bikini, P and period proof. I got the light to moderate protection um, and I got them in a size 26. So what's great about this brand is there's a lot on Instagram and there's a lot of different brands that have got period proof underwear. However, it's quite hard to find one that do a plus size range as well. Um, so I was really interested in this because they go up to a size 26 and I wanted to see what the sizing was like. The sizing is great. To be honest, I could have got away with a size 24. They come in this little um, recyclable pack here. So they look a little bit like this 
Um, so they do them in sort of different colours, different designs. These are like the central bikini and they've got like the lace. Um, but they also do like super high waist with higher absorbency. They do different colours. They do like white, nude. They also do some actual um, colours. And they're just your standard pair of pants. But then in the this bit, they've got like layers of it's not even like look at that it's not even thick um you can't even really tell until you you can hear it this is like a really fucked up asmr in it <laughs> um but they've got like layers here and um, so they're like absorb so obviously these ones are the black ones and i can assure you that when you are on your period you can't even tell you can't even tell like you can't see anything on them and um, i can't say for the colored ones because i haven't tried them but these you genuinely can't tell and if you match your um flow to the um underwear that you get these last all day so how you might be changing a tampon or a sanitary towel multiple times a day um with these if, as long as you match the absorbency then you can wear them all day i personally think they're great to sleep in because there's nothing worse than like going to sleep and feeling like you've got it all you know, in between your legs. <laughs> Whew. Um, yeah, so I was a little bit nervous about it. I've tried them. They're absolutely brilliant. And obviously the idea behind them is that you just literally rinse them under the cold tap, put them in a cold wash and then they're ready to use again. The only thing is they are not hugely expensive, but relatively expensive. And obviously you need a few pairs unless you're gonna like keep washing them. So you're gonna need like sort of two, three pairs at least um, to see you through your period. But yeah, swirl them under the cold tap, which I know sounds crazy. Swirl them under the cold tap, then put them in a cold wash and so yeah, they come in loads of different sizes, up to a size 26. They're super generously sized, and I just think it's a brilliant idea. Obviously, it means that we're not having loads of sanitary waste in landfill, and they're, they're reusable. Like, they could literally last you for your whole adult period life. And they may seem like a bit expensive at first, but when it means that you haven't got to constantly um, be buying sanitary products, and I think in the end it ends up worth it. As well, what I think they're great for is, you know like that day when like you think you might come on your period, but you're not sure, and you're like, mm, should I put like a pad in? because I don't know if I'm going to come on today. They're great for that, especially if you've got like irregular cycles. I know quite a few people have got PCOS, things like that. It means that you can just put a pair on if you, you've had the twinge. <laughs> you know, like when you get the twinge and you're like, are you on your way? So I think they're absolutely fantastic. Go and have a look as well as, um, the maternity bras for like leaky boobs and they do like gym leggings for sweat that have like got like something in them that stops you stinking and honestly they're incredible i am completely won over and i was 100 percent nervous about it i was thinking like i was gonna be like leaking and then i i, I don't know i just had loads of terrible nightmares and i can assure you that they're bloody fantastic Okay, so now I'm going to move on to, let's do beauty favourites. Okay, so um, me and Adam went away to Liverpool for a couple of nights at the end of July, I think it was. And we went in the most fantastic lush I've ever been in, ever. It was literally incredible like the craziest lush in the world and i finally finally found the lord of miss raw perfume i have been after this for forever um and oh my god 
it literally is incredible if you like the lord of misrule halloween bath bomb it's exactly the same but also this perfume is so so strong and it lasts so well like i usually wear like i've got them here gabrielle chanel joy dior and i don't think that any of those last as long as this it's hand it's so it's basically just like essential oils it's got patchouli oil black pepper oil vanilla oil vanilla absolute um isn't that a vodka <laughs> um anise alcohol like there's barely any ingredients in it um and everything that's in it like occurs naturally in essential oils so it's beautiful if you like the bath bomb or if you've never smelled the bath bomb um then give it like give it a little smell they do do a little one as well but it's quite hard to get hold of so you might have to go into store to get your hands on it because i don't think you can get them online um and i believe that they're discontinuing the perfume so i would if you want one i would get one but it's oh, it's amazing and i think it's quite like a like manly smell like it smells a little bit like um woody like musky like that oud wood kind of smell and oh it's absolutely beautiful beautiful next is mine like first love um i repurchased whilst we were in liverpool the mask of magna Minti, um from lush um so this is a face and body mask and this is a self-preserving one but you can also get the fresh one that you put in the fridge and basically it's so basically it says apply a generous layer over the face avoiding the eyes leave on for five to ten minutes gently scrub off with warm water and i was having a trouble finding a decent um face exfoliator that didn't contain nuts i had been using the Lizzle one for years and then I realised that it um I think it had almond oil in it it was either almond oil or walnut oil and I hadn't noticed and like I hadn't had any issues but um I spoke to my immunologist and she said to like avoid it if I could so I wanted to find a decent exfoliant that would clear my skin up make it feel nice and soft so I started using this again it's absolutely bloody brilliant and i've been having if you follow me on instagram shame this plug um if you follow me on instagram then you'll know that um i've been having loads of issues with my skin the last couple of weeks and it's actually really been like getting me down because when i haven't got makeup on my skin it's just been absolutely rank like i haven't even wanted to look in the mirror and that is really helping clear my skin up and anything that's doing that is a winner for me so yeah mask of magnanimity mag mag i don't know if it's mag magnanimity okay next up is a hair color because i've dyed my hair and it's gone like a, a bit darker but i think i really really like it it's still super pink but I just think it just looks like a little bit darker and it goes a bit better with like my root. Um, so I put on the Bleach London, the big pink. This is a new colour, I think. I haven't seen it before. Um, and one of these bottles does my whole hair. Whereas with the um, live colour I was using, I was using like three bottles. Whereas this covered so um i think i'm gonna move on to using this it's been super like nourishing on my hair um so yeah that's the that's what i've been using and i really really like it my last beauty favorite is a new foundation which i've wanted to buy for ages and that is the Too faced born this way foundation um so it's oil free undetectable medium to full coverage foundation and i literally have wanted to buy this for ages and i've just been like putting it off and then i ran out of like two of my favorite foundations this month last month so i thought let's give it a go i've only used it a handful of times and i do really really like it um so i've been mixing it with a little bit of cc cream because it's quite um 
like matte I would say whereas I like to be a bit more dewier so I've been mixing it with a little bit of CC cream but it is fantastic I've really been enjoying it so baby I was born this way <laughs> Okay, moving swiftly on to clothing. I've said before, this sounds like I'm being bougie, but I'm not. I find it quite difficult to have clothing favourites because generally I find that I like churn through clothes quite quickly, especially with like people gifting you clothes and wanting to um, take photos in your clothes for Instagram. And I know it sounds silly, but it's just one of them things I don't find that I, like if I buy a new dress, it's not that I don't find that I'll like wear it 10 times for it to then be a favourite. So I find it quite difficult to have favourite clothing items. But when I do, like, I'm like, this must be amazing because I could choose to wear something new, but I'm not. I'm choosing to go back to that thing, if that makes any sense. The first is this t-shirt. I cannot tell you how many times I've worn this t-shirt. It is my favourite t-shirt ever, ever. It's from Fashion Nova. And then the ACDC, I don't know if you can see in this light, but it's like, almost like a petrol kind of print. But it's really, really baggy, oversized. And it's like the perfect crop. It hits right on my waist. It's super baggy, super comfy. And if I could wear it every single day forever, then I would. Next item, this item was kindly gifted by Miss Guided actually, um, but they're not like paying me to say anything about it or all of that shit. Um, and this is just a, like an oversized cropped denim jacket. Now, I must admit, I don't think I've worn like worn a jacket, denim jacket since I was like 13, 14, and I was a little bit like on the fence about whether I still like them or not. But this is like the perfect denim jacket. It's just like a nice crop, but it's like sort of oversized. Um, and I just, I honestly absolutely love it. And it's a really nice, soft denim. So I've been wearing this loads and loads. And then I am decided that I'm gonna cover it in like patches and stuff and like make it a little bit cool because I want it to be like a real staple in my wardrobe. Um, so I've got some pins off another jacket that I'm gonna put on. And then I've also brought some patches. I got one from Lush the other day and I've got some like band patches. So I think I'm gonna put them on and just make it a little bit like cooler than it already is but i've been wearing these loads and i've really been enjoying it and a denim jacket just goes with everything doesn't it next my babies i cannot tell you the amount of times i have worn these big baggy pleasy trousers as you know i work from home like the majority of the time so Things like this t-shirt and these trousers are just like my everyday go-to staple. And these ones are my, probably my favourite that I've got. Um, they're all from ASOS, but I've also got them in black. And I've also got them in dark zebra, I think they're called. Um, and I just find myself going to them all the time. They are the comfiest trousers. Really cool. Um, as in hot cool but I also look pretty fucking cool in them and they're just one of them that you can just wear for like any situation you can dress them up you can dress them down I feel like if anyone doesn't own a pair of these trousers by now they need to go and buy them because they are life-changing life-changing I'm telling you okay now I've actually got three pairs of shoes to show you and I'm not the kind of person that buys shoes a lot like look I've got I had like an obsession with van slip-ons and brought like 20 pairs of van slip-ons and then was like I never need to buy another pair of shoes and I literally have been living in either van slip-ons or Birkenstocks and then for some reason in the heat, my feet have sw swollen up. I swear to God, I'm getting old. My feet have swollen up and I can't get my Vans on or if I wear them, they're really tight across my foot. And I know a lot of people said to me that they find Vans slip-ons just aren't wide enough. So I've gone back to Old Faithful 
Converse. Um, so I've got a few pairs of Converse, but they they all look a little bit worse for wear um, because I've had them years. So I invested in a new pair of Converse. And I always go for the white Converse. Like, I can't tell you the amount of pairs of white Converse I've had. But I decided to go for black. Um, so I always get the lower ones because I prefer them to high tops on me. Um, but I just got a pair of the classic Converse black and I'm super happy with them because they just go with everything in the world, right? Next, I treated myself to a pair of Doc Martin sandals. Um, these were actually men's ones and I spoke about them in an ASOS haul, but they are absolutely bloody brilliant i know that they're a, a, an acquired taste because they are like pretty like clunky but i love them they're really really comfortable they um have sort of stretched out a little bit as i've worn them which i like and the leather's like super super soft but i feel like these with like a pretty dress just look really fucking cool however ASOS have just brought out a range with Doc Martin and I was sort of furious about it because they've got leopard print on them and I probably would have brought them but I brought these I've been wearing them and I do love them so maybe maybe the leopard print ones will just slip into a basket at some point okay final pair of shoes um so I do really like my Doc Martin sandals but I find that you know like when you are like just run into the car or you're popping food shopping and i know this sounds like the laziest thing in the world but the doc martin sandals are like such an effort to put on because they've got like proper buckles and sometimes i'm just lazy i'm a lazy bitch and i just want to slip on some shoes so i brought a pair of ted baker sliders my mom's borderline obsessed with these she's literally got like 13 pairs of them it's ridiculous but i thought let's get a pair and look at these babies they're gonna be like my my like house shoes i think and you know like when like, you go in the garden and all things like that um, so I've been wearing my mum's and I finally decided to get a pair. So these are from Ted Baker. I've got them in a size 6. They're super wide actually. They fit really, really well. Um, and you know, I don't, I don't know if anyone's had that problem. But you know how sliders sometimes, um, un, un, what's the word, like become loose at the side? These ones are stitched so they don't. My sister-in-law has got a pair of Gucci sliders and they've come apart. I've had loads of pairs before and they've all come apart. The only part that the only pair I've had that have been really good quality is my Birkenstocks. Um so these are also so on. So I got these ones. They were in the sale. I'll link them down below. I think I got them from Office. Um and I just think they're really, really cute. And then it wouldn't be a favourites video if at the end I found something completely random to show you. So I've got two kind of random things. <laughs> the first one, this is such an <laughs> like it's made me feel like I'm like 80 years old because I haven't seen one of these since like my nan, my great nan passed away. But <laughs> I can't believe I'm showing this on YouTube. I purchased a tablet tray because I'll tell you the story. I always forget to take tablets. So I have to take vitamin D, which is quite new. Um, I've also got like a tablet for anxiety and and I have to take like an like sometimes I have to take an antihistamine and I was like always forgetting to take my tablets and then it gets to the end of the day and I'd be like, oh, I haven't took this one, I haven't took my vitamin D. And because we were being really stingy, right? Holland and Barrett, I'm meant to take, I think it's 50 UG vitamin D. Um, but they were like 30 pound for a pot or you could get the 10 UG, which were on offer for like 2 99 So I said, I might as well get the 10 UG and take five of them. So that's what I did. So it means that every night I have to take like five vitamin D tablets because they're a low dosage. So it was just really fiddly. I didn't know what I was taking when. So I've purchased this 
and it's just like a tablet tray and oh, I bloody love it and each day like it pops out and you've got like a little case for your tablets for that day I mean I'm sure these have been out a hundred years but I think it's bloody brilliant and then I can like set it out for the whole month and if I haven't taken in there now, like on day five if I obviously wasn't feeling it then I know what days I didn't take I think it's bloody brilliant and oh, I love it what day are we on today day 10 <laughs> treat yourself <laughs> I can't believe I'm just showing my tablet trail on YouTube. I really need to sort my life out. Okay, final favourite, physical favourite, is um, this book. I finished it last night, finally. It's taken me just over a month, but I just read for like, say, 15 minutes to half an hour each night. Um, so this is the co Kofi, Sophie Kinsella, My Not So Perfect Life. It's basically about a girl who wants to live in London, have like the London job and the London apartment and all of that. And her mum passed away when she was younger and her dad owns a farm and he's always like trying to think of new ideas for the farm. And then they decide to set up a glamping business on the farm and um, Katie loses a job so she goes back to live at the farm but she doesn't want to tell her mom and dad and then she helps them with the set up the glamping business and yeah it's 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 actually really really good really easy to read and um, but I have really really enjoyed it so if you want something just really light-hearted to read then there you go and my final favorites I haven't got anything physically here to show you because they are either TV, music, or films. So, my favourite film of the month. Okay, I've got two favourite films of the month. The first one was Dumbo. Oh my God, it was beautiful. I don't really tend to like the Disney remakes. However, Dumbo was really well done. Dumbo is the cutest little elephant in the world. And... It was just really well, like, they'd just done it so that it, like, was the same as before, but not exactly, and it was, it was really, really good, I really enjoyed it. And the other film we watched was Fisherman's Friends, um, which is, like, based on a true story of the, um, musicians fisherman's friends and it's so good, like, I've got a bit of a thing about any of that them kind of films anyway um but i really 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 enjoyed it and it was so nice to watch because um we just got like we not long got back from cornwall so like you'd see places and you'd like be like oh that's we went there um i really really enjoyed it i loved the music so much that it then took me on to having an obsession with listening to fisherman's friends on spotify my favorite song is Right, my favourite one is called Being a Pirate and I'm literally obsessed with it. Being a pirate is all fun and games till somebody loses it all. It hurts like a place, it's a vegetable face, it's a kind of mess, you're probably. Being a pirate is all fun and games till somebody loses an eye. It's all part of being a pirate. Absolutely brilliant. So, Fisherman's Friends, the film, and then Fisherman's Friends, all the music, obsession. And then, finally, look, can we talk about Handmaid's Tale? I don't know, like, if this is something that everyone is watching, but if, honestly, if you are not watching Handmaid's Tale, you need to go and start watching it from the start. I think you'll probably get it on, like, 4OD or something like that. It's the best series I think I've ever seen. It's quite dark. Um, it's massively fucked up, so if you're not into that kind of shit, maybe not the one for you, but it's it's bloody brilliant i'm obsessed with it and it's ending pretty soon so i'm feeling it i'm feeling a bit emotional okay so that's it that is all my fave things for well like the end of june all of july bit of august and thank you so much to moddy body for sponsoring this video um i'm like can't believe that i found some like something that's gonna 
change like a change my life seems like an extreme um sort of way of putting it but like i'm never gonna have to buy so much tells again like how insane is that honestly i know that people are going to be thinking that's a little bit but honestly give them a go because you will be surprised i'm telling you you will be surprised i'll link everything down below and yeah thank you so much for watching and i will see you soon wow i blew that one on didn't i <laughs>